Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Um, give me a second. You know, even though I had to do that, <laughs> I think that's very, uh, that's very commonplace when thinking about the spy right now. Um, you know, it's, you know, from the previous video, um, and I didn't want to be right about this, right? I did say that we are headed down to a between, you know, I made the video, I don't know when I made the video, but, um, you know, I was definitely thinking that we were headed down to like a 420, 438 range on the S&P 500. And this is actually, this is actually a screenshot taken because um, I ended up deleting all my, all my stuff, all my, uh, what is it called? All my stuff from, uh, from my TA right here. I have no idea why I deleted everything, uh, but this is a, a screenshot from the last video that I made, which was, I think, two weeks ago on what I think was going to happen to the spy. Um, and for the most part, I mean, it kind of sort of hit, right? I mean, I think we went down to like 438 and then rebound back up and then hit 452 again and then came all the way back down to 438, right? Which is exactly kind of what happened here. And I think it was kind of something like this. Came down to like 438 like this and then went back up to like 452 ish like around that level and then come back down like this or we basically shoot back up to this support or sorry this resistance right but as of right now you know the original forecast was actually going down to like a 420 ish like right like right there right so this is basically the the, the original forecast right and i think i have the I'm thinking that that's what it is, right? So, original forecast is at 420.07 it, it, by April 13th. Right now, we are April 20-something. So, April 13th would have been back here, like around this level. Um, so, I don't know if I actually did that April 13th. Yeah. So, by April 13th, I actually, I actually thought that we were going to see a 420 uh, S&P 500. Um, so a little bit, you know, like what are we like 10 days late on that, <laughs> but it does look like we are headed down to 420, right? So I was a little bit late on the, on the forecast, but we are still headed down. I think, I think personally, I think we're going down to 420. Um, you do also have a massive order block on the daily. Um, so, you know, I think from here, you might actually come back down, retest this and then possibly break back to maybe somewhere around like 437 or so, right? So I think from here, there's two things that that's that's two things that can happen. You actually come back to 420, you retest, come back here some to like something like, like 436, and if news is still bad, if everything's still bad, you're probably going down super hard to like 400 bucks. Oh no, what did I just do? Um, yeah, from right here, you know, if if, if you retest this and nothing happens, you know, you're probably going down super hard. Um, and, and the reason I say that is because you actually have, um, and you guys already know this, but uh, gaps, right? You guys know I love gaps. There we go. You actually have this big gap here. You know, this thing's been wanting to fill for a while. You have, you have this huge gap. I'm going to bring this all the way to here. Damn it. I got to make this bigger. There we go. There you go. That's what I wanted. So you have this huge gap right here at this level at around four, you know, between four, 400 and 403, um, which I actually think that as of right now, you know, there's a really, really, really good chance that uh, that spy ends up, you know, filling this 400 gap level maybe in the next month or so, um, especially because the week actually just ended up closing um, bearish, which is extremely unfortunate, right? And usually when you close a bear week, you end up being what? One, two, one, two weeks, one, two, three, four, five on the low, right? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, like four or five weeks, you actually end up being bearish. Um, so as of right now, I think we just had our first week close of, on that bearish side. I think we have three more weeks of this. Right. So we would basically have till the end of one, two, three. So by May. One, two, three. Yeah. So by like the end of May 9th, what is the week of May 9th? 
So by May 13th, I think that as of right now, we are headed down to like 420, 400 bucks. I think the next big uh, support level is going to be definitely that 420 level. Um, but I think we have three weeks of bearish, a uh, bearish movement right now. And I think that we have a solid chance at closing this gap at $400 or so. Um, and again, just, that's just because on an average you do have, when you do close a bearish week on average, you, you go, you know, anywhere from three to four weeks on the bear side and you stay consistent on that. Right. Um, so I do think we'll see another leg down to 420. I do think that's extremely possible that we could, we just keep pushing down next week. I think if you bought puts this Friday or yesterday for like two weeks out, I think you're, you're, you're extremely set. I think it's going to keep pushing down and I think that's where it's going to go. I think that's where it's headed. Um, and, and from there, you know, depending on what happens at 420, um, you might actually see either a really solid, um, a really solid run to the upside, or you might actually see a crash further, further to that four hundred dollar level. As of right now, I am kind of bearish, right? As of right now, you can, like I said, I, I do think four twenty is going to hit. From here, if there's consistently bad news, you might crash straight to four hundred, or you might see a rebound back here to like four thirty six, and then go all the way back down. So, right now, the scenario again, you know, and, and keep in mind, guys, there's 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 obvious scenarios here, right? So right now, what, what's what's the common place of what's happening right now, right? I think that we're definitely headed down to 420. So, I mean, we're at 426, 420, you guys can obviously make sense of that, right? What is the common place? Right now, common place is 420. After that, it's either we, we, we actually shoot all the way down to 400 bucks to fill this gap, or we rebound to like 436-ish and then come all the way back down and then fill that 400 gap. So a lot of things that can happen right now. I think scenario one played out perfectly, which is awesome. Um, I think for right now, I think scenario one is basically coming down to 420, possibly retesting that 436 and then coming back down. Unless you're, unless you're at 420 and you, and you consistently get really bad news, then I think we're going straight down to 420. But if we do go to 420, rebound to 436, and we have really good news, then I can probably see another jump to like like 450 or so, right? So a lot again, a lot of things that can happen depending on possibly news or where, the, where everything is going. But from what I see right now, I think the most likely scenario, I think is going to be scenario probably like two or something, which is... Come down to 420, retest 436, then drop all the way down to 400 bucks to fill that gap. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.